Hey guys, hope you're all well. So I haven't made a YouTube video in months. I thought I would just do like a chatty get ready with me today and kind of do a sort of update whilst I'm doing my makeup because that's vaguely more interesting than me just talking at you and updating you. I'm going to start using this. It's from Kiehl's, it's the Micro Blur Skin Perfector. I actually used it yesterday but you get quite a lot in the samples. I just kept it and thought I'd use the other half today. I really really like this. The only thing is it does kind of separate which is a bit annoying but I would potentially buy the full size once I've worked through some other primers and I would be allowed to buy the full size as of today because today is the 15th of December and that means my one year spending ban is over which is mad because I don't feel like it's been a year at all, which is a good thing, I suppose, um, because it's not been hard. I did buy things when I was on holiday and I said from the start, if we went to New York, because we hadn't booked it at the time when I started this, but I knew we were thinking about it. I did say if we went to New York, I was going to let myself buy stuff. And I did get a couple of things for my birthday, which I said was fine because I hadn't spent my money on them. Um, and I did buy some perfume when I was in London at the start of December. So I, I have actually bought a couple of things, but only on holiday. I've not done any like at home going up to a beauty counter or going into Boots and just bang. It's been weirdly easy. I've said I said this in like all my update videos as I went along that it didn't feel hard at any point. It is over now so I could I could start buying things but I don't really have any intention to. I am gonna take some time between now and the first of January. I am gonna use some of my MAC Corrector's spoiler for my project pan which I will update at some point as well. I'm going to take some time off between now and January just because there is a couple of things that I do want that are limited edition or whatever that I'm going to wait until Christmas just in the off chance anyone's bought me them for Christmas. I say them there's like a couple of things that's really not a lot at all and then come January I'm going to start a new spending ban which I'm going on holiday in March so my plan is to do a spending ban in January and a spending ban in February and then allow myself to buy things when I'm on holiday in March and then I think once I come back I haven't 100% decided this yet but I think once I come back in March I am going to start a new year-long spending ban with like no holiday exceptions so that it's another full year March like kind of mid-March 2019 to mid-March 2020. I really need a mirror because this is not good enough. Give me a second. So yeah, I'm thinking about doing a new spending ban for a year from kind of mid-March 2019 when I get back my holiday through to March 2020. Just to do a whole year even with like no holiday spends and anything like that because I still haven't filmed everything that I bought before I even started my spending ban and yeah like I still just get so much stuff and I think like one of the main things I've really realised this year is I think I honestly thought if I didn't buy anything for a year I was going to really use loads of stuff up and I've just realised how slowly I actually go through things. This is like a prime example so I'm actually using the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation which this is the original formulation now it is nearly nearly done I'm like come out and I did for a while stop using this because I wanted to save it because they changed the formulation now I actually can't remember when they changed the formulation but if you go look it up it will give you an indication of how long I've had this for. Now when I started my video every year in November project last year I used this in a get ready with me and was like I need to use this up. Fast forward over a year later and I haven't used this up. I have used other things up like I had other foundations that I've used this year and I would say like base products are the things I have gone through but I have used nowhere near as much as I thought I would have used when I wasn't buying things. At the start of the year to be fair I was working from home, I was freelancing and I went back to a normal job the kind of end of March start of April. Pulled out a bit much now so I'm just gonna pat this all over. So I wasn't wearing a lot of makeup at the start of the year to be fair because I wasn't going into an environment where I was seeing anyone else I was sitting at home all day kind of thing. Um, and even to be fair going into work if I have one of those mornings where I'm like I'm super tired I will take an extra 15 minutes in bed rather than get up and put makeup on my face because I'm just not one of those people that has to have their makeup on every day it doesn't it doesn't make me feel like more ready for the day it doesn't make me feel like ready to face stuff any better like I kind of forget what my face looks like through the day so whether it's got makeup on it or not like I'm not thinking about that as weird as that probably sounds because I know so many people 
you know, it's part of their ritual and they feel ready to face the day once they've done it. And I always do my skincare, so I've gone through quite a lot of skincare this year. Not makeup at all, and makeup's my most kind of problematic category in terms of like the amount. I have more makeup value wise than I have anything else, and I also have more makeup item wise, like far more makeup item wise than any other category. So it's the thing I get most excited about, but. I don't really put it on my face that much. Or I do put it on my face, but I just, I don't wear a lot of makeup anyway. I'm not a really heavy makeup wearer. And I don't wear it every day, so I'm not. I did a couple of project pans this year. I do have updates to film for them. But I think one of the things I learned is project panning is really not for me because I don't wear makeup every day. And then I felt like when I was wearing makeup, I had to use these items that were in my project. And I got to a point where I was totally sick of looking at them. So at the moment, project pans, I don't think I'll be carrying forward with them. I might do some like mini ones in 2019, but I don't think the project panning thing is for me. I really want in 2019 to kind of work through my collection a bit more and do like maybe like, you know, a different lipstick every day or something. But then even again, having said that, a lot of these challenges that are designed to make you do that are great for people who get up and put a lipstick on every morning, which I just don't. And to be honest, even when I have, when I do put makeup on for work, I tend to pack a makeup bag and do it on the train if I'm commuting. Or if it's on my dressing table, it's like a very quick process of like, throw it on my face and go. And it's very minimal. It's not, like, I don't sit and do contour and everything like that for going to work. That's just not me at all. I actually put far too much foundation on there as I'm talking to you about how much I don't actually wear heavy makeup. So foundation is on, concealer is on, face is looking like a big moon with no definition. So I'm using my Hourglass um, palette, which is like a face palette, and it's got, uh, this is diffused light here. This brush is so broken. Like it just um, comes apart, but I love it a lot. I wanted to get back up when I was in New York in August, uh, in October and I couldn't find it anywhere which was really annoying. I'm going to stick with this palette and I'm going to use this blush here which is the middle one number five which is Surreal Halo. Oh look, I'm starting to look alive again. Exciting times guys, exciting times. Again sticking with this palette I'm going to use this highlight shade here which is Strobing Powder Hypnotic Strobe Light. So yeah, Spending Man is done but I'm definitely going to do more stuff going forward. Um, so I will still be doing kind of makeup rehab element of my channel and I think I'll still do updates and stuff on that. I am going to do a proper update at the end of November, at the end of December, once I've got my December empties counted up and actually, you know, see this is how much I used up in a year and yeah, kind of formalise my plans going forward. We'll see. See what happens. Prime my eyelids. This is Put A Lid On It by The Bam. So anyway, how's everyone getting on? You're ready for Christmas if you celebrate it. I'm not, not at all. I'm usually super Christmasy. Like part of the reason that um, I've not been on YouTube for a little while is that my ex and I, obviously, since he's my ex, have split up. And yesterday would have been our eight year anniversary. So this week's been fun. It was definitely the right thing. Like it was very mutual. It was very much like, we just kind of fallen out of love as sad as that sounds like there was no there was no big drama there was like nobody did anything wrong we just eight years later we're not the same people anymore and you know we'd left uni and we're starting our careers and we were going in completely different directions and wanted different things it's been a bit rubbish but it's definitely like the right thing but it's also a bit like this time of year is just so shitty to be freshly broken up with. I'm going into my Huda Rose Gold palette, which is so very used, as you can see. And I'm taking, this is a Zoeva 234 into the shade Bay, and I'm gonna put that down all over the lid. That's partly why I've not been here. I've also just been super busy, like, my job has been really demanding, which I love. Um, I really like that I have a job where, like, what I'm doing actually really impacts on it and makes a difference. And I'm kind of the only person who does what I do, so if I'm not doing it, nobody else can do it, which it's stressful, but it's quite nice at the same time. I never feel like eyeshadow blends well over base. Does anyone else do this? Like, I don't really use a lot of eyeshadow primer, but when I do and then I use, like, a powder shadow, I feel like it's just really, like, textured and 
clinging and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But I'm taking my Zoeva 227 and I'm going into the shade Sandalwood. I'm going to cover all of this up in a minute anyway so it really doesn't actually matter. But yeah, so I'm not feeling super Christmassy yet but I hope you guys are. I'm just going to take Sandalwood just slightly underneath here. But yeah, so yesterday would have been Scott and I's 8 year anniversary and truth be told we should have totally split up like a lot longer um like a lot earlier than we did but his dad actually died earlier this year and you know we just kind of if that hadn't happened I think we'd have split up like a lot sooner. I am taking this is from Stila and it is a smouldering satin um glitter and glow eyeshadow which I bought in New York last December. <laughs> And still haven't filmed. I need to like seriously film. I think that's that's what I'm going to try and film depending on when I finish filming this and what time I've got before I need to go out. Um, I might try and film that whole video. There's stuff that's over over a year old still to be filmed but I've got a new New York haul to film obviously from when I went in October so I want to get the original one done. I really like these steel eyeshadows. They're so pretty. Um, I had Kitten from that haul. Remember and bought that in Ulta so I'd actually filmed that and started using it and I actually finished it this year and I would totally buy a full shade of kitten in these glitter and glows it was just so pretty just gonna keep my eyes shut and like fan them because if I open my eyes because I've got hooded eyes it will set in in that like open creasy way I'm just gonna put a little bit underneath here not dipped it back in so this is just like the excess of what didn't go on on the top so yeah I desperately need to film that haul but really like these eyeshadows. I'm going to take my powder brush and my Makeup Forever HD powder and just do a light dusting of that before I start putting mascara on because I don't want to throw mascara and then you know powder over it and it picks up anything. Okay so now that that's done I'm going to curl my eyelashes and then I'm going to use the Urban Decay Subversion Mascara Primer. So yeah that's why I've not been on YouTube for a little while. It's just a combination of work being super busy which is good and I like it a lot. I'm afraid I'm one of those annoying people who like loves their job and also just because not being in the best place. But yeah today I'm doing this catching you all up on the fact my spending ban has ended and I managed it other than going on holiday which I always said was going to be excluded. This is the Clinique High Impact Extreme Volume Mascara. Oh that, that was another thing I was going to talk about. Um, so I did a giveaway in my last video and I never actually announced the winners just again because of what's been going on. So the day that this goes up I'm going to go pick winners and comment. So if you watched that video and you entered go back and check in case I've commented back to you. Late present just after Christmas so that'll be nice. Thank you to everyone who watched and entered. I think there will be more giveaways coming because I've got so much to film and there's product that I will definitely never get around to using. Keep an eye on my channel over the next year. There will be multiple opportunities to win things that I haven't used or that I'm not going to use or you know whatever because I'd rather things wait to a new home since I've now realised how long it takes me to use things. Oh I have eyes again, they're coming out of my face, that's good. Uh, I'm going to do my eyebrows next I think. I'm just going to use my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil, spoolie in one end. Got my eyebrows done at Blink when we were in London at the start of this month and she was like this one's so much more rounded than the other one. I was like I know, like there's nothing I can do about that, that's the way they go. Honestly I always love the shape they do when they go to Blink, when I go to Blink and I really like going there whenever I'm in London but I mean they always just tell me what's wrong with my eyebrows and I'm like like I know I'm very aware it's, it's all good guys that's why I'm here so I'm just gonna brush that through I don't like my eyebrows looking too kind of heavy and squarey drawn on anyway you know it's just not my look and I'm gonna keep that in place with some ready set brow again by Benefit I love if you guys if you guys can see like back there there's the Benefit wardrobe that was like the eyebrow gift last year but this year's is like I wish I'd wasted and got this year's is basically what I'm saying because it's like a flat box that opens but it's like that stands up and it's lovely but as soon as I actually take the packaging out the inside like I can't keep anything in it because things don't stand up do you know what I mean like you have to lie makeup down so this year's one I think is more like a kind of jewellery box but I definitely don't need any more brow stuff because I've got plenty to go on with let's see let's try and brush this back into the camera a bit so you can see better and I'm going to do a really festive shade this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills um, and it's the shade Sarafine or Sarafine I 
I think it's Sarah Fine. That sounds like more of a something something would be. I love this lipstick. It's it's pretty much one of my favourites. I really do like the Anastasia lips, liquid lipsticks. Like Lauren finds them really drying, but I don't at all. There we go. So here makeup Christmas jumper from Primark. Loves it. Um yeah. That's me ready. I hope this has been a good get ready with me. I don't feel like it has. I feel like that was so awkward. I haven't filmed in so long that I think I'd almost like kind of just forgotten how to actually do it. God knows if this will ever see the light of day. But yeah, that was my little update. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, go check back because I will be like commenting back to winners on my boots giveaway. And yes, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sorry there's not been one in ages. I promise they'll get better when I get back into filming and doing that regularly. Um, and yes, don't know what time it is. If I've got time, I'm going to try and film my Sephora haul from last December. So that, that can go up next week. Um, yeah, I'm just rambling. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Sorry I've been AWOL. Speak to you soon. Bye. <laughs>